Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Life is Tiff Knows It. Tiff here bringing you an unboxing. It is an unboxing that is not a diamond painting, but it is craft related. It's something I'm really excited about. And yeah, so we're gonna get into it. It is some knitting accessories. And if you might not know this about me, but knitting used to be my thing, specifically loom knitting. I am sitting in a room currently that's full of yarn. And so um, before I discovered diamond painting, my craft of choice was uh, loom knitting. And I'm looking to get back into knitting, but I also am a parent and do not have a lot of time. Like I like the idea of knitting and I like the outcome of what I make, but I do not like spending so much time on it. I would rather spend my time diamond painting. So I thought um, there's a, a solution. It's the best of both worlds and it is a knitting machine. So I ordered a knitting machine and some accessories. Let's see what what we got. I did use washi tape to cover my address and stuff. So I hope you're having a good day. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. It was a long day at work. Okay, first, oh, cool. I got the two things that I ordered. Did not realize they came in different colors. That's cool. So I have some, um, this is all on Amazon, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Some um, pom-poms. These kind of like fake fur pom-poms. I'm curious. Let's open them and see what they look like. I believe the cost of these were like $12.99, maybe $14.99. So, and there's a lot of them in there. I knew that I needed to get um, an accessory. I'm going to actually just use, I was going to use what I used to um, section off my diamond paintings, but I found a knitting, a loom knitting hook. So hopefully I don't damage these, but I just needed to puncture, puncture a hole in the packaging to show you all. Maybe. I do have scissors in here too. Come on, you gotta be resourceful here. But I'm stubborn. There we go. I think we got it opened. I'm just curious what they kind of look like. So, oh, they're very soft. And they do have, I was interested, like what, ah, this might be challenging then. They have, a lot of times I've seen these with a loop, and I don't see a loop for these, unless this one's broke. Ah, there it is. So the loop you can then loop into your hat, and that's ingenious. I never knew how these were connected until I watched the video. There's all kinds of different ones in here. Um, a brown one. This is kind of a gray, gray one. Sorry that the lights, I thought the light would be really good in here, but um, this one is kind of like a dark one. So lots of variety of those in here. And then I did also get these really cute tags that I wanted to make sure you saw. So I'm going to be making a lot of beanies. And it says on the tags, made with love. Um, they're made of like a leather material. Let's see if it will show up in the light very well. Made with love. Look how cute that is. So um, I thought that I ordered them in all brown. I did not. That's okay because some it might work well with certain yarn colors. So those are the two accessories to make the hats. Let's get into the machine. I've been so excited for this machine. Whoops. See, you got to be resourceful. You can use this for multiple, multiple things. Uh, let's see. So this is a Centro knitting machine. I ordered it. There was a coupon. And so I got it for, I believe, 70 76 bucks. I'm so excited. I don't even care. I just want to get into it. Oh, oh. More than a toy. That's funny. So it's upside down. Knitting machine. 
center knitting machine and it shows a picture of a scarf. It's easy to knit. It's for ages eight plus. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. So we're going to unbox it together. I love that it has a little, little um, handle. You can travel with it, which I might be doing this break. I might be doing that. <laughs> I figured to do this, I'd do this unboxing on my bed because I have a huge diamond painting on my table. So, okay. What else does it say on it? Um, nothing too much on the front. It does say it's new on the back. It has, uh, it tells you the process and then it tells you there's two modes, panel and tube. It has a, um, tension lever and it comes with yarn and it shows a cute pumpkin, some gloves and hats. Mmm, I'm so excited. I also want to make scarves with this thing. So I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to use it because to be completely honest, I do not want to fumble around um, figuring this out in front of people because I'm nervous. I want this machine to work. I'm going to be so disappointed if, if it like drops stitches constantly. Let's see. Now, can I open the box? That's the first challenge. Ah, more. I don't know if it opens from this way. We shall see. Maybe just get the tape off like so. Man, tape sometimes. Oh, I just ripped the box. That's how excited I am. I just want to open it up. I just want to open it up. Does it open like this? Ha ha ha. I found it out, friends. More tape. They package it well so that you don't... Um, yeah, no one can steal it maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I've had such a long day today. I was teaching all day bit on my feet. I don't usually stand this much. Okay. Here we go. Might have done this upside down. I did. Okay. Wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Like, um, it's really wide. So I'm sure things will shrink. Let's see, it does, you do have to set up um, all of the parts to it. Ooh, it even, ooh, it comes with a little screwdriver. Wow. So, we got pieces to kind of prop it up. I'm not going to try to assemble it right now. But that's what these would be, I would imagine. And then you got your a um, crochet hook, which is nice for binding off. It does have these suction cups and then little screws if you want a more permanent spot for it. There is that tension gauge. And then screwdriver and different um, size needles. So that's nice. Uh, let's look at the machine itself. There's no returning this sucker, I've decided. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, perfect. So the, um, ooh, the handle itself comes on it, which is nice. That's really nice. Um, and it does have 48 pegs on it. It says that it has three rows started. So if I were to, you are gonna have to put it on something. So I was thinking, can I just have it on the surface? But the handle hits something. So that's kind of how it works. Is it um, raises up these different levers. You feed your yarn through it a certain way. And it does, like the counter is working. It says four. How cool is that? Centro. And then it has this tube versus panel on it. 
I am so intrigued and so excited. Um, there is numbers here, so you know which peg you are on. I guess you don't really call it a peg, but I do want to make sure it starts over. There is a certain way that you have to get it started. So I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. Thank you so much for watching me just do like this brief unboxing of, of this. Sorry, my sheet's kind of wrinkled here. I just couldn't find a nice place. I was too excited. I had to show you guys. Uh, I'm sure I'll be talking more about knitting, especially if it works well. Uh, I might do a review of it. Well, we will see, but at least plan to see me doing a little bit more knitting. I'm not giving up diamond painting. Diamond painting I love, but I'm just incorporating this into what I do as well. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't done so and you like crafting content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me so much. I am close to 500 subscribers. That is my goal for this year. And I, I'm just so appreciative of people who watch my videos. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.